Hi everybody, a little bit of news for you about super yachts in the world at the moment and the demand for super yachts. Uh, there's been a report out just recently which has shown that right now there's a record-breaking demand for super yachts. Super yachts will cost you about £50 million upwards. That would probably be the smallest one that you might get. And right now, there are about 1,200 super yachts, which are either on order in the world, or they're being built right now. And this is an enormous increase in the quantity demanded in the world. And it's gone up by about 25% the amount being demanded over the last year. And one of the big reasons for this is because of the pandemic, because people who have got millions or billions of pounds want somewhere safe that they can go and they want to be able to be anywhere in the world that they can be. And if you have a super yacht, you can do this. These super yachts sometimes have open air cinemas. They sometimes have helipads so that you can land your helicopter on top. They're absolutely enormous. And at the moment of the 1,700 which are being built or on order, about 27 out of these 1,200 are longer than 100 meters. You can imagine how huge they are, and if you saw one, you'd think you might want one yourself, or you might want to live on one, or you might think that these are terrible and bad for the environment. People have really different views of them. And if we wanted to look at the economics of this and what this is doing to the price of super yachts, all of this demand, we'd look at this diagram here. We can see that because the demand is increasing, the price is increasing from P to P1. But something quite interesting to think about is the price elasticity of supply, the price elasticity of supply for the yachts. How easy is it for the shipbuilders to supply more yachts if they want to? So if the price of the yachts goes up, can they supply more easily? And the answer to this question at the moment is that no, they can't supply them that easily because the shipyards are full of ships. And therefore, this means that the price elasticity of supply for the super yachts is relatively inelastic. And the supply curve looks like this. And what this then means is even when the price goes up due to the increase in the quantity demanded of the super yachts, you can see that they're not actually able to supply a lot more yachts. And what's happening in the world is that because the shipyards are full of all the slots for making super yachts are full up, this means that the absolute billionaires or the people who really want their super yacht quickly are paying much higher prices to do this. And they're almost trying to push out other people's yachts being built so that their yacht can be built because of this relatively inelastic price elasticity of supply. There are lots of things that you can think about in this market for super yachts. Is the demand going to continue to increase? And this may largely be determined by the pandemic. And also the fact that we have increasing technology, which enables people to be able to work from home, so to speak. And also it means that multimillionaires, billionaires who are working still, they can work anywhere in the world on their super yacht. So it looks as if it's possible in the near future that the demand for the super yachts is going to continue to increase quite significantly. And some questions to ask about this as well are what do you think about the morals of this? Do you think that it's okay that there are some people in the world who are able to afford super yachts which cost upwards of £50 million and are over 100 metres long? Is it right that those people can afford those, whereas other people are struggling to eat or find shelter for themselves? Also, what's the carbon footprint of people who are having these yachts made? And what's the carbon footprint of moving the yacht around the world, of building the yacht and of using the yacht when they're actually there? And should this be 
intervened in this market by the government or by regulators to try and reduce the amount of super yachts that there are in the world? Or do you think that if people have the money to afford a super yacht and that's what they want, that they should be able to buy one?